Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, the Helix versus a drop pedal. So um, hopefully you can all see that I do have a drop pedal on my board. It's going through loop number one, actually. And um, what I've set up is a way for me to go through uh, two crunch sounds, one with the drop and one with the Helix. Um, what I did was use simple pitch. And the simple pitch is just down one half step at 100% mix. Um, the best way to kind of get that, um, I will say, and this is something that um, you know people ask about it, oh, can I just use the Helix? Well, it's not polyphonic. And you'll see some things it does okay, some things it doesn't do okay. Uh, and if, you know, for playing out, I would not use the Helix. Uh, maybe for practicing, you know, at home, it might be good if you need to just quickly tune down to play to something on their, you know, that's, uh, that you're playing with or, you know, I mean, on uh, an MP3 or whatever. Um, sometimes, you know, the ACDC stuff is off a little bit. You need to go, some stuff is down like 40 cents, you know. It's not, it's not a full uh, half step one way or another. Um, so I wanted to kind of show how this works with clean and, and dirty setups. Uh, one thing I will say is when you add the Helix, and you'll see I do have a, I do have a, uh, gate at the beginning of my chain, right when the guitar goes in, and I have it right after the amp and before the IR. But when you have a drop in the loop and you're using, I'm using a high gain amp, there's hiss, and I'll show you. So right now I have the helix and uh, th with, with the drop in the helix, I guess the simple pitch. When I change over to that loop, you can definitely hear that hiss. Now how I've gotten rid of that in the, in the past is I just take out the the normal gate where the guitar input is, and I put a gate after the drop, and it gets rid of it. It doesn't have to be crazy high or anything. I like to use the least amount of gate as I possibly can just to make it clean. But anyway, let's see. It's there whether the, the, the drop is on or not. Or not. So let's hear. I'm going to use, um, I'm in E flat across, but I also, right now, I'm using a drop D. I will go back up into E. Uh, standard, which again, E flat standard, I should say. So you can hear the difference between some of these. And then if I take out the drum. Hopefully you're not hearing any of the actual guitar because that. It, sounds really weird. I wanna, I'm going to take the, the microphone down, and I'm just going to play through a bunch of stuff um, so the microphone's not picking up any room uh, signals. I'm going straight into the mixing board, and the mixing board straight into my Q2N uh, Zoom recorder.
right, so now let's try it with some clean sounds, and you'll see, you know, I think that the Helix does okay um, with that pitch shift there. I, I, sounds pretty darn good. Um, you know, I, I still prefer the drop. I think it's just a little bit more accurate, um, like I said, especially because of the polyphonics. So now we're going to switch over. I'll turn the volume down on my mic and do this one again. Do the clean. So hopefully there you can tell that um, there's definitely a difference between the drop and between the helix um, on the clean. It's very evident. Um, you know, if you're doing, um, especially if you're doing anything complicated chord-wise, um, I mean, the pitch shift on the helix is just not meant to do that. I don't think the drop is perfect, um, especially as you go down further. Um, so let's let's go down a little bit. I'll go down a whole half step. Again, there's that noise. Okay. Sounds pretty good when you're playing that low kind of chuggy stuff. Um, to not have to bring a guitar, the drop is to me is worth it. If you're only doing one song and you're just doing that chuggy stuff, let's see how it works with this. I forgot I was down a whole thing there. I mean, as you get further away with the drop pedal, let's go down uh, two steps here. It does sound kind of fat and baritone-y. Um, you know, one thing about the drop pedal is that tone does not change hugely it still sounds like a guitar it doesn't start to sound like a a weird bass or like the strings are different or anything um so another kind of advantage to that um and and really with the helix when you start to go further away from the pitch so let's do that with the heat with the helix So I'm four half steps or two whole steps down with the helix.
So anyway, hopefully that's a good enough explanation or a good enough um, you know, example to kind of show everybody. Um, I'm going to do another video, which is the Helix versus the Mimic, so you can hear what, the, uh, what that double take in the Helix sounds like compared to the Mimic. All right, thanks, everybody.